Hi there, boys and girls. Today we're in Kian's room. Since Angel was talking so much yesterday, maybe she'll be inclined to talk today. She's definitely looking at us, trying to figure out what's going on. Angel is a cockatiel that we've had for over a year. She's a really nice little bird to take care of. Maybe you can look up online and learn a little bit more about her. Awesome. You guys ready to learn, her, learn about our letter for the week? This week, if we were in school together, we'd be talking about letter E. E is for elephant. E is a vowel. Remember, all words have to have vowels. A, E, I, O, or U. Let me adjust the camera just a little bit. There we go. E can make two sounds. E, just like its name, or E, like E, elephant. Careful. Don't be tricked. There is a letter L for elephant, but don't be tricked. It actually starts with the letter E. E, L, E, P, H, making the F sound, A, N, T, E, elephant. And that's our story we're going to read today. It's about elephants, called But No Elephants. It's by Jerry Smath. This is a story I remember as a little kid, and it actually made me really sad when I was a little boy reading this story. But in the end, we'll talk a little bit about it and understand why. It's actually not a sad story, but I only remembered part of it. But No Elephants by Jerry Smack. Grandma Tildy lived all alone. She worked hard every day. She had no time to play. See Grandma Tildy? You watching, Angel? <laughs> Trying to figure out what's going on. One day, a man came to her house. He was selling pets. Would you like to buy a canary bird? asked the man. Very well, very well, said Grandma Tildy. But no elephants. Look at the salesman with all the different animals in his little vehicle, his car. Grandma Tildy was cooking stew, and the bird wanted to help. So he sang, he sang a song for her. It made Grandma Tildy very happy. Some music notes. He's singing. That night they sat down to eat the stew together. And it tasted better than ever before. The next day the pet man came back again. Would you like to buy a beaver? He asked. Very well, said Grandma Tildy. But no elephants. See how she's cutting the wood, the firewood? A beaver could, could do that for you, couldn't he? Grandma Tildy needed firewood. The beaver wanted to help, so he cut the wood with his sharp teeth. That night, they sat in front of a warm fire. Remember, what did the canary do? He was singing songs. And what did the beaver do to help? He was cutting the firewood. There's things you can do to help, remember. It's your house. Grandma Tildy went shopping. She met the pet man again. Would you like to buy a turtle, he asked. Very well, said Grandma Tildy. But no elephants. I wonder why she doesn't like elephants. Hmm. I wonder if something happened before that she doesn't like elephants. Grandma Tildy was tired, and the turtle wanted to help. So he carried her home on his back. That'd be fun, riding a turtle, wouldn't it? That night, Grandma Tildy washed the turtle and put him to bed. But the next day, it rained hard. The roof started to leak. But just then, there was a knock at the door. It was you-know-who. The pet man. Would you like to buy a woodpecker? The pet man asked. Very well, said Grandma Tildy. But no elephants. Would you like a woodpecker for a pet? The woodpecker wanted to help, so he nailed the roof down tight, and the dripping stopped. Look, he's helping. He's nailing down the, the roof shingles so it won't leak. 
just like your little birdhouse. You had to put the nails in on the roof so it won't leak. That night, they all danced in the warm, dry house. That'd be lots of fun to have all those animals. A canary. Would you like a canary bird to sing? A beaver. Would you like a beaver to cut firewood for you? A turtle to ride? Or a woodpecker to fix the roof? The days got colder and colder. Grandma Tildy had to put food in jars for the winter. I just don't like the cold, she said. Just then, there was a tap at the window. It was the pet man. So you're putting food in the jars to save? Look, all the animals are helping. Would you like to buy an elephant? He asked. He's the only animal left. And I must leave before it snows. No, no, no. No elephants, shouted Grandma. She went back to work. And the pet man left. Oh my goodness. She does not want an elephant. She does not look happy. Are you enjoying this story, Angel? Well, not going to whistle today. But the elephant stayed. It started to snow. And it kept on snowing. You see the elephant? Right there by the door. Looking in the window. It snowed. And snowed. And snowed. Oh dear. It's a lot of snow outside. That elephant's almost covered up. No elephant, said Grandma Tildy. But the elephant would not go. He doesn't look very happy, does he? He looks kind of sad. Poor little elephant. I think this was the part that made me sad when I was younger. I remember the elephant being sad. They could not see the elephant anymore. But they could hear him crying. And they felt sad. You wouldn't want to be left outside when it was snowing, would you? She's being shy. <sighs> Very well, called Grandma Tildy. You may come in. But the elephant, excuse me, the elephant was as happy as could be. Oh, look, now he's smiling. He can come inside. That's making him feel much better. But the elephant had a problem. He could not get through the door. They all helped to push. Oh dear, said Grandma Tildy. Once they got him inside, I hope the floor is strong enough. This is a very old house. Outside the snow kept falling, but inside the house it was cozy and warm. Everyone hoped winter would soon go away, and that spring would come. Just looking out the windows. But that night, there was a terrible crash. Look, all the animals woke up. Grandma Tilby. The elephant had fallen through the floor. We cannot fix this, said Grandma. You'll have to just stay there. Oh, dear. We'll just have to stay in that spot. He fell through the floor. Remember, elephants are the biggest land element animal. Excuse me. In the in the ocean, the big blue whale that's the biggest animal altogether. Winter was long, and soon the firewood was gone, and the elephant he was always hungry. Look at him eating. Do you see the empty jars? Bigger animals have a large stomach, so they have to eat more. Elephant kept eating and eating and eating until all the food was gone. We cannot leave or we will freeze, said Grandma Tildy. We cannot stay or we will starve. What are we ever going to do? I can't go to the store because it's too cold. There's no more food left. Whatever are they going to do? 
The elephant felt sorry. Then he thought of a way to help. He started to walk. He walked, and he walked, and he walked, and he walked. Look, he went across the bridge all the way through town. When he stopped, they were in a warm, sunny place. Just like those animals who migrate, remember they move to a new place where they can find food, where it's nice and warm. And there is where Grandma Tildy and our friends live today. There's, there's Grandma Tildy and the animals and the elephant. And if you look right up here, it says, Welcome Elephants. Look, there's more elephants coming. Grandma Tildy was, must have decided she likes elephants after all. The end. But no elephants. I hope you enjoyed our story today. And I hope you practice letter E. Remember, E makes the sound. E, just like its name, and eh, eh, like eh, elephant. It's a vowel. Remember, all of our letters start at the top. You go straight down, across, across, and across, just like Eric's name. And little e, it's the one that does not start at the top. It's at the middle. It goes straight out like a race car, then up and around. Again, straight out, vroom, up and around. Hope you enjoyed our story today. We'll see if Angel will whistle one more time. Whistle. Well, she wants to. She wants to whistle. And I guess just not interested this time. We'll try again on another day. Maybe she'll whistle and talk to us a little more. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye.